Good evening, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Good evening. Good evening, Mrs. Good evening, Salvador. How are you today? Uh, no, no. No more. Sorry. Oh, you had an accident? That's so bad. Yeah, wow. yeah. A year. Really? Uh oh. Yeah. I hope you get better soon. Espero se mejore pronto. Gracias, gracias. Good evening, Maricela. Hola. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Eh, teacher, fíjese que quise accesar al, al material de, del curso y me uh -huh. sale que no está disponible. ¿Habrá algún problema? Mm, well, I'm in the platform now, so I don't think so. Y, si yo estoy en la plataforma en este momento, no creo que haya ningún problema. Ah, ok, voy a, voy a accesar de tarde. nuevo. Ajá. Ok, sí, porque cuando quise entrar no, no, no tenía contenido. Ok, sí, tal vez el internet de pronto es el que falla, porque sí, la plataforma está funcionando. Acá estoy utilizándola yo. De acuerdo, lo voy a buscar entonces más tardecito. Ok, that's good. Thank you. Me avisa si acaso tiene problemas todavía, sí. me avisa y ahí podemos sí. ver. Yes. All right, good. So how was your weekend, Maricela? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Eh, enferma, le comenté. Oh. Tu really? poco problem de, de salud. Y yeah. estuve con, con vómito, entonces no, no la pasé bien. Oh, that's pretty bad. Pero ya estoy, ya estoy aquí de nuevo. Gracias a Dios mejor. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that you're better. And how do you feel about the topics we have studied? ¿Qué tal vamos? <coughs> Perdón, ¿qué tal vamos con los temas que hemos estudiado? ¿Cómo los has sentido? Pues un poquito más difícil últimamente. Y como okay. no he podido practicar, como que me he quedado un poquito más atrás. Oh. Porque el fin de semana pues no pude hacer nada, absolutamente nada. Yeah, I get it. Voy a, voy a tratar de ponerme en estos días como a repasar más. All right, that's good. Okay. ¿Usted qué tal? Bien, I'm fine. Yes, well, uh, my weekend was quiet. It was nice because I didn't have much to do. So mm -hmm. I rested. I rested. I visited my family. So it was nice. Okay. Thanks for asking. 
Sí, César Montesino. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Okay. Great. I'm glad to hear that you're good. How was your weekend? Um, it's um, visit family. Um, uh, shopping. Oh, you went shopping. Uh, shopping. Nice. <laughs> cool. Uh, here at comer, come in, comer, comer fuera is it, it, it out? Um, it helps, it helps. Okay, it out, it out, it out. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, it's nice. comer fuera. Yes, yes, that is okay. all right. It sounds like a very great weekend. You did many things. Excuse me. Suena como un fin de semana muy bueno. Hizo bastantes cosas, right? Sounds like yes, a very yes. nice weekend. Yes, uh, tenga dado. Uh, very good. All right. Excellent. And uh, the platform says, are you done? Right? Mm -hmm. Are you done with the platform? Um, de la plataforma. Yes. Okay, finish. Okay, all right, finish. very well. Okay. Ya, um, um, sería el, el puntaje que tú ves. 95, no, 90, 97. 97, okay, excellent. That's a very nice score, very good one. Thank Hi, you, Janet. Okay, hi, Janet. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Miss Lily. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? Very good. Very good. That's good. Okay. Great. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Uh, uh, I, be, very good. Very good. I, good. I was in a house. Okay. You stayed mm -hmm. home. What did you do at home? ¿Qué hizo en casita? Mm, I play with my, my daughter, my, 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 uh, my nephew, ne, nephew, my children. Okay. Mis nietas. I play. Nietas, grandchildren. Uh -huh. I play with my grandchildren. Okay. I, uh, I watch TV. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Um, um, quiero ver qué más. Uh, sí, only. Only that? Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. How many grandchildren do you have? Mm, she, she are very good. Uh, she, uh -huh. Uh, right. And how many how many grandchildren do you have? ¿Cuántos nietos tiene? Uh, I have two grandchildren. Two grandchildren. Uh, okay. Uh, girls or boys? Uh, girls. Two girls. Two girls. Uh, okay. uh, Alejandra. Uh, Alejandra and Sofia. Alejandra and Sofia. Her names are Alejandra and Sofia. Okay. Yeah. Nice, Janet. I'm glad that I'm glad to hear that you had a nice weekend with your family. Me alegra saber que tuvo un fin de semana bonito con su familia. Thank you. And you? How was your weekend? My weekend was excellent. I I was just telling Marisela I had some free time, so this weekend I didn't have much to do. I rested a lot, and I also visited my family, so it was nice. And we celebrated my aunt's birthday too. Uh, yeah, it was your cool. birthday. Oh, oh no, my um, aunt, uh, mi tía. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah, mine is on November. So, oh, November, November okay. 17th. Yep. Ah, 17th. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, we need to write. 
<laughs> oh yeah, take notes. You <laughs> late? <laughs> <laughs> Maricela, your hands up. Do you have a question? Eh, teacher, si Hi. podemos repasar las, las lecciones que nos ha dificultado un poquito más. Ok, which ones? ¿Cuáles les gustaría repasar? Las últimas clases que tuvimos de like, el um, verbo continuo. Present continuous. Yes, that's what we're going present to Present continuo, today. yes. Uh -huh. Okay, sí. don't worry, yes. I got some practice okay. for today's class. Ahí me perdí, honestamente me perdí un poquito. Tal vez, este, okay. si, lo, si lo reforzamos, pues me entiendo mejor. Sure. Of course, Thank we'll you. review it. Thank you. Okay. Elmer Mauricio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you, Elmer? Good, good too. All right, nice. How was the weekend? Excuse me, teacher. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? How was the weekend? Mm, nice. It was just nice? Okay, all right. Sounds great. Carla Angelica, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Carla? Um, very good. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And how was the weekend? Um, visit. I um. No, I was. I, I visited. Visit my family. You visited my your parents. Family. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Daisy Sarai, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? How are you? Fine. Okay. Nice. How was the weekend, Daisy? Um, go relax in the family. Okay. Right, nice. Did you spend it at home or did you go anywhere? Home. Casa or salió? Home. Stayed home. home. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, I think we may start, right? So good evening, everybody, and welcome to today's class. Let's see, we're almost done with the squares. This is our class number 15. And a uh, we only have two more classes, right? This one and tomorrow's class. And well, about what we're going to do today, we're going to practice the present continuous. We're reviewing and practicing the present continuous. So let's see what we got. Let's go to the platform first to explore some videos and a, to remember about the present continuous. Okay, so let's watch the videos to remember about the present continuous and how to use it. And then I'll give you some more practice. Could I ask you to turn off your microphones, please? Me harían el favor de apagar microphones, please. There's feedback. Tenemos feedback. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Let's listen to the explanation about how to use the present continuous for statements. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. 
Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side. And and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some Okay, and let's talk about it then. Well, as you know, the structure that we use for making statements or sentences in the present continuous is the subject, then the verb be, then the verb in ing, and the complement, right? As we have some examples here, you are wearing shoes, right? You are wearing shoes. So you see we have the subject, you, we got the verb, the verb be are, which is a corresponding form for you. Then we add the verb in ing, which is wearing. 
and then the complement. So let's try to make some more examples following that structure. We would have, for example, we are studying English. That is something you are doing at the moment. What else? Can you give me some more examples? Can we make some more examples of sentences in the affirmative form? What else is happening I am. here? I am. What are you doing? Um, wearing. Wearing. I am wearing um, dark, dark gray t-shirt. Okay, a dark gray t-shirt. Yes. You will. Another one, please. She is dancing in the party. She is dancing in the party. Okay, then as mentioned in the video, we could also use the contracted forms in the sentences. So instead of saying we are studying English, we would say we are studying English. We are studying English. Or in the case of the second sentence, I am wearing a dark gray t-shirt. How would you rephrase it using the contracted form? What's I'm, the contraction for I am? I'm, I'm that's right. Wearing I'm a dark gray t-shirt. Exactly. And next is she is dancing in the party. Re rephrase it, please. She's, she's, she's dancing in the party. She's dancing in the party. Very well. So as you see, we always, I mean, we can also um, use a contracted form, but we always have to include the verb be, okay? So that is important. Do not omit it. Siempre, siempre necesitamos el verb be, aunque sea en la forma contractada, como lo estamos usando acá. Pero siempre es parte de la oración. Si yo lo omito, entonces la oración pierde el sentido. So I can never say we study in English. We're, right? We're studying English or we are studying English. But please do not omit it. And the same happens with the verb over here. It always has to be in the ing form. De igual forma, el verbo tiene que ir siempre en ing. No puede ser un verbo sin ing. No podemos decir, we're study. We're study doesn't make sense. We're study no tendría sentido tampoco. Entonces, siempre tiene que ser ambos elementos. El verb be. Y el verbo en ing. So that is what we have for the affirmative form. Then for the negative, it's very simple. The only thing that we do is to add not right after the verb be. Para el negativo, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregar el not después del verb be. So we would say we are not studying English. I am not wearing a dark gray t-shirt. And she is not dancing in the party. And then once again, you can also use the contracted forms in the, in the verb be. So you would say we aren't studying English, for example, or we're not studying. You could also say that I'm not wearing. Let's say I'm not wearing. Or she isn't dancing, she's not dancing. That is for the negative. Then another thing that is mentioned in this video is that we can use the conjunctions and and but. Those are conjunctions. Uh, those conjunctions are used for joining two sentences. Estas conjunctions las vamos a utilizar para unir dos oraciones. For example, when I say the teacher is talking and 
I am listening. So I'm adding more information, right? Right after and I'm adding more information. La, la teacher, la maestra está hablando y yo estoy escuchando. And I am listening. Can you make another example using and, please? Let me give you another one. The, the students. Dog. Go ahead. Yes. The dog. The, the dog is eating. Mm -hmm. And the cat is um, playing. The cat is playing very well. Okay, then I was going to say the students are paying attention and they are taking notes. Here you go. So you see how we use and to join two sentences. And then uh, here we also have the conjunction but, pero. So let's try to make some examples using but. Let's say um, my dad is watching TV, but my mom is sleeping. Can you make another one, please? Try to think of another example using but. My brother is my brother playing is soccer. Playing soccer. And my sister. Okay, is it and? My sister. Um, uh, watching TV. It's watching TV. It's, it's, it's watching TV. Okay, good. Can we make another one using but? Any ideas there? But significa pero. So think about another example, please. Um, I am read the book. I am reading the book. But my wife. My wife. Yes. Looks. Look the flowers. She is looking at the flowers. On the flowers. All right. Very well. So you see how we use both conjunctions, and, and, but. Okay, now that we have talked about this, I got you some practice. Oh, before we continue, no. do we have any questions? Mm -hmm. No. No? Okay. And it no. seems we're ready to practice, right? So let's uh, go ahead and make some affirmative sentences in the present continuous. Here we have some uh, prompts, some information that we're going to use to make the sentences. For example, here, I and wash the dishes. What's the sentence? I am washing the dishes. I am washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Very well, I am washing the dishes. Oh, excuse me. Washing. I am washing the dishes. And then you continue with the others. So you have some information you must use for making sentences. Then in exercise two, I need you to unscramble some uh, words to make sentences. For example, number one, we have the words I, working, am, today, and not. Can you make a sentence, please? I am not, not working today. Not working today. Very well. I am not working today. Okay, so that is what you have to do now. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I need you to I need you to practice by completing the exercise.
is this? Let me see. Okay, I'm opening the rooms now. Here we go. I'll send you the pictures in a moment. A la uno ya lo hizo ella, ¿verdad? La teacher. Ajá. Podemos comenzar. Con... Ahí. Ah, la dos. Era número dos, sí. Comienzo. We are doing the homework. Estaría sí. bien. Yes. We are doing. We are doing the homework. The homework. Next. Uh, she is talking on the phone. Yes. Next. Next. You, you're writing a poem? Sí. Perdón. You're writing uh -huh. a poem. Ajá, está abreviado Yuri. Lo hizo contractado, ajá. Ajá. Está ajá. bien, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, está bien. It's okay. okay. Yuri, okay. nosotros lo estoy escribiendo. Write, writing, Eva. Right. En este caso, una pregunta. La e, se le quita la se E. Se le quito. Ah, ¿verdad que writing. sí? Ajá. Writing, writing. Okay. Next. Next. He's, he's playing basketball. He's playing, correct. Playing basketball. Next. 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 ¿O me toca a mí? Ah, sí. Sería la number six. They are doing exercise. La six. six. Yes. Uh -huh. Exercise. Number seven. Next. Uh, it's aim for a food. 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 Comida. Uh -huh. It's eating its food. No, no, está bien así. It eating or eating? Eating. 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 Buy some fruits and vegetables. 
es correcto. Es correcto. No. El número, ¿qué estamos haciendo ahorita? Número 8. Estaba escribiendo, me, me quedé. They are buying some fruit, fruits and vegetables. Okay. Oh. Ahí está la teacher que no diga cómo se pronuncia vegetal. Yeah, it's fine. Vegetables. Vegetables. Got it. Ah. Vegetables. Y, y, y comprar, voy, buy. 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 Thank you. Okay, welcome. Hi. Number nine. Girl is not wearing sunglasses. The girl wearing is not sunglasses. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Para la otra sería. La otra sería. They. They are. They, Eating they are not food. eating soup. Sí. Soap. They are not eating, eating soap. 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 Susan is not Susan going is not home. Going home. Susan is not going home. La Quinta, uh -huh. sería. Yes, it, it is, is not reading. It is not right, reading now. It is not raining now. Writing now. It is not raining now. Raining. 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 Yes. Raining. 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 Okay. Vaya la sexta. Sería. Gordo. Is not at the barking cats. Creo que si sería the cats barking. No, barking cats. cats. No. Dogs bark. Dog. Barking. Cats. Dogs bark and cats meow. Miss Lily, no lo encontraste ahorita. Lo puedo encontrar. What happened? Tengo lleno el teléfono y, 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 y se, no lo encontré. Mi hija me lo, me lo buscó. Oh, but you got it. Ahora sí okay. ya lo tiene. Ten. Ya lo tengo. Uh -huh. okay. All right, good. Hey. Vaya, el séptimo creo que sería We are not taking. We are not taking. Foot. Foot. Vaya, el octavo. El ocho sería. They not is they not joy is no uh -huh. joy is not the playing no playing the yeah. piano mm -hmm. playing the piano joy is not playing the piano joy is not the playing joy is playing joy. piano. Joe is not playing the piano. The children. The children. The children. The children. The children. The children. In the children. Are, 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 no. are not. Children, the children. The children are, are swimming. Are not the, swimming pool. in the pool. Pool. Uh -huh. See? The children. Children are not. The children are not swimming. Swimming, swimming in the pool. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Sure. The diez sería cas uh, with the cas are with the play. Play not the play. Gul es no, ¿qué es gul? Gul, ¿qué quiere decir? 
So what number is it? Oh, pool. Pool, piscina. Ah, no, no, no. Mm? Piscina. Wool. Wool. No, ah, no, no. Wool. In pool. the last one. Eh, wool Three. is lana. 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 Ah. Lana. Yeah. Okay. Lana. Uh -huh. yeah. The cat are, are not. Are not playing. Are not playing. Play. The wool. The wool. Wool. The wool. wool. We are the wool. The wool. The cat. The the wool. The wool. The wool. The playing. The playing with the uh, wool. Not. The cat are not. The cat playing. are not playing. The wool. With 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 the wool. The wool. Uh, the wool. The wool. The wool. The wool. The wool. The Sí. Ya hay, hay más. Vamos. No, solo eso. No, solo eso. Are you done? Are you done? Did you finish? Finish. Yes. Okay. All right. ¿Cuál falta? Go. ¿Cuál falta? ¿Qué número falta? No, ya terminamos. Ya está, ya, ya se terminó. Terminamos. Yes, ajá. Okay, very well. So we're coming back. See you in the main room. Okay, welcome back everybody. Now it's time to check. So let's see. see. In exercise one, you had to make a affirmative sentences. So we said, number one, I am washing the dishes. Number two, Elmer. We are doing the homework. Very good. Janet, number three. Hey, Janet, your microphone is off. Well, Janet, teacher. Hey, Janet Cermeño, excuse me. Janet Cermeño, eh, su micrófono está apagado. She talking on the phone. Okay, thank you. She is talking on the phone. Next one, Joaquin. You are reading a poem. You are writing a poem. Very good, thanks. Daisy Sarai, number five. He's playing basketball. She is playing basketball. Janet Jennifer. Next one. They are doing exercise. Good. Juan Carlos, number seven. It is eating, eating its food. It is eating its food. Very good. 
Thanks. Maricela Valdivieso, number eight. The buy some fruit and the vegetable. Ahí no pude entender la palabra. Vegetables. 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 Yes. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. And vegetables. 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 That's how you say it. Okay, thank you. Julio Ortiz, number nine, please. It is raining. It is raining. And Carlos Miranda, number 10. Trouble to New York. Troubling. We are traveling to New York. Okay. No, veo. no la vi. Oh. Here, we are traveling to New York. Okay, uh, let's just practice a couple of words. Please repeat. Grading. 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 Poem. Poem. Homework. 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 Basketball. 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 Doing. Doing. Exercise. Exercise. Eating. 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 Buying. 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 Fruits. Fruit. 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 Vegetables. 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 Traveling. 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 Raining. Okay, this is vegetables. 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 There you go. Okay, let's check exercise two. Um, let's see, Maria Jose, number one. I am not working today. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander, number two. You're waiting. The girl wearing is not sunglasses. The girl is. The, perdón, perdón, perdón. The girl okay. is not wearing sunglasses. There you go. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. Number three, let me see who has participated. Salvador Ruano. They are not eating. They are not eating soup. Soup. Okay, thanks. Soup. They are not eating soup. Number four, Cesar. Susan is not going home. Very well. Carla Angelica, number five. It is not raining now. Okay, excellent. Eduardo Omar. What number? Number six. 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 The dog is not barking at cats. Okay, good. The dog is not barking at the cats. Number seven, let me see who's going to participate. Julio? We are not taking photos. We are not taking photos. Good. Number eight, um, let's see, Daisy Sarai. Joe is not playing the piano. Joe is not playing the piano. Number nine, um, let's see, Janet Jennifer. The children, the children are not swimming in the pool. The children are not swimming in the pool. Very well. And the last one, uh, Carlos Miranda. This is at the cats with the are they said the cats are playing is not 
The cats uh, are cool. not playing with mm -hmm. cool. with the wool. Very well. Mm -hmm. The cats are not playing with the wool, we think. Okay, very well. And let's yeah. practice some words. Repeat, please. Sunglasses. 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 Yes. Wearing. 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 Soup. 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 Raining. 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 Barking. 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 Taking. 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 Photos. 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 Joe. 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 Piano. 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 Swimming. 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 Pool. 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 Okay, good. And let me see. In the remaining minutes, let's review the the yes no questions. So remember that for yes no questions. Yeah, let me see where it is here. So remember that for yes no questions, we mentioned that we change the order of the of the elements and we get the structure, right? Instead of starting with the subject, we start with the verb be and the subject goes to the second position. So you see, instead of saying we are listening to music, we would say, are we listening to music? Recuerde que para hacer las preguntas, vamos a cambiar el orden de los elementos en la oración. Entonces, en lugar de iniciar con el sujeto, vamos a iniciar con el verb be. Es decir, ya no decimos we are, decimos are we, are we. For example, are we listening to music? Can you mention some other examples, please? Are you learning English? Teacher, teacher. Tell me. Eh, siempre en, la, en, en el ejercicio anterior, en okay. la número 6, en la número 6 tuvimos problemas en el grupito de cómo ordenarla. ¿Cómo era exactamente? Six. Ok, let me go there. That's one, number 6. The dog is not barking at the cats. ¿Y qué es the barking? Barking, um, what dogs do, ladrar. Ah. Oh. Yes, so it would be. Oh, okay, okay. The dog is not barking at the cat. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Sí, por eso That's es que no. <laughs> okay. No sabíamos cómo ordenarlo. Okay, gracias. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so este, este, estos ejercicios los va a mandar al, al correo también. Este, I mis... send them to the WhatsApp, eh, to the WhatsApp group. Janet, ya los envié uh -huh. al grupo de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Okay, eh, so we were talking about eh, questions, just no questions using the present continuous, right? So once again, we start with the verb be. And we get, for example, are we listening to music? Are you learning English, for instance? Can you make some more? Learning. Are you learning English? Is, what he, is he cooking vegetables? Is he cooking vegetables? Good. Are you, are you swimming in the... In the piscina, como se dice? In the pool. Are you swimming in the pool? Good. Any other? Yes. Is your cell phone ringing? Is she what? Uh, is she? Is she dancing? Dancing under the rain. Mm -hmm. Any other question that you can make? Is she wearing uh, tennis? Tennis shoes? Okay. Is she wearing tennis? All right. And then remember that in order to answer this kind of question, we use yes 
and the verb be or no plus the verb be. So whenever we say, are you learning English? You would answer yes, I am. Or you could also say, no, I'm not. Is he cooking vegetables? Answers? Yes. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. He is. Or yes. no, no, he's not. no, she is not, no. or he is. He is not. Are you swimming in the pool? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Is your no. cell phone ringing? Yes. 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 No, it's not. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Is she dancing? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, is she no, or not? No, she is not. not. Or she isn't. Is she wearing isn't. tennis? Same, right? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. Not she. Very well. Okay, and now um, let's just take a couple minutes to explore the final exam. I know many of you have already taken it, but um, just in case somebody hasn't done it, we need to check it and let's see. And well, tomorrow we are going to talk about the time and we may have um, we may have some minutes to continue practicing this topic. The, the person continues as well. So let's, oh, I think I opened this. Okay, so let's check the final exam. Let me just read the directions for you and explain. In case you have not done it, um, please remember to do it today because today is the last day to complete it. And let's see, it starts with the listening section. There you have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answers. Here you have the audio, you open it, you play it, and you listen the most three times I would recommend. However, you can listen as many times as needed. And then you have some questions here. Where's Justin from? We got three options. She's from Canada, she's from France, she's from Italy. So according to what you listen, you answer. That is for part A. Then in part B, we have read the answers, then write the question. So, uh, well, we have even solved this together, right? Here you have the answer. No, they're not from England. And the question would be, are they from England? So from this information, I make the question. It could be a yes, no question or a WH question. In part C, you have to choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Example in number one, we got Larry is in serious, yes. And then you have heavy, funny, pretty, right? So you choose the opposite. In part D, we have to choose the correct answer to the question. We have, a, for example, is this Sue's scarf? And we got three different answers. Maybe they're Katie's. No, it's not hers, it's mine. Yes, they're hers. So you choose the one that you consider is correct. In part E, we have to use the correct present continuous form of the verb. For example, we have, are you wearing jeans? No, I wearing a suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. Or no, I am wears a suit. So you choose the one that follows the correct structure. And I believe that's pretty much it. Oh no, we got letter F, part F. You have to select the correct time. So here you have some clocks, you look at them and then you answer, you select the correct answer. And that will be all for the final exam. So in case you have not done it, please do it today, complete it today, because this is the last chance for you to complete your work in the platform. Sé que la gran mayoría ya completó, pero si acaso hay alguno por ahí que falta de completar algún ejercicio, de completar el examen final o alguna partecita por ahí, puede realizarlo este día. Recordemos que es el último día para completar, así que por favor, 
si aún les falta, hacerlo a la brevedad posible. Okay, so I hope to see you tomorrow in the last session for this uh, level, for this module. So see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.